Okay, who's ready for another glue test? <laughs> so I, uh, I was preparing my planes for the uh, spring flying and I looked at some of my wings and I noticed on one of them that uh, one of my servos had come off. So I'm going to show you that here. This is my slow flying FPV 30 plane. Okay, I'll show you that there. And you can see dangling here is one of the servos. Uh, getting closer on this camera. Now this servo was attached using double-sided carpet tape, which I've used on a whole pile of my planes and it's worked fairly well. You see this servo is still attached, um, but it came off and that made me think, um, it made me think that I should really do a test to see what attaches servos best to packing tape. Because um, there's some planes, like this one, I mean th this one doesn't have a ton of expensive electronics. I tend to uh, fly it relatively close to my position. It doesn't fly too high. If it happened to come off in the middle of the air, it would probably just float down anyway. It wouldn't be that big a deal. But there's other planes I have, uh, like my FPV plane, which has got a couple hundred dollars of electronics on it. Uh, and I wouldn't want to lose it because I lost a servo. Now with, with this one, I used the double-sided carpet tape and I used a little bit of hot glue as well. And those servos are still on there nice and secure. Um, now my super fast plane, which I haven't flown yet, here this FPV-30, I've used the double-sided carpet tape and I've used some Gorilla Glue to kind of seal them in uh, as well, kind of putting pressure on the servo. And they also seem very solid. But of course it begs the question, there's three different planes that I all built last year and I've used three different techniques uh, for, for mounting my servos on the packing tape. Uh, so I really want to check what glue will stick servos and plastic like servos best to packing tape. Um, maybe I'll, I'll back up just, just a hair. The, you know, all three of those use this double sided uh, carpet tape from Scotch and the reason is it allows me on my wings to uh, use the Z-Bend tool to get my control rods to an approximate length and then it allows me to do minor adjustments back and forth with the servo so that the control surface is nice and level when I when I place it down. Tack it into place and then I, and then in some of the planes I've used a secondary mechanism to to attach the the servo a little bit better some hot glue or some Gorilla Glue um, or some tape over top of the servo. So that allows for a really quick and easy build, but it's not necessarily going to hold your servo in the best. It does allow you to take your servos off in case you want to move them to a different plane or replace a bad one. Uh, but that's not what this test is about. This test is about what simply sticks best. So what I've done is I don't want to, I'm, I'm going to do uh, eight or nine of these uh, different types of glues and I'm not going to glue eight or nine servos permanently to packing tape and, and wreck those. Um, the size of servo that I'm mostly concerned with is the, is the, the, uh, the HXT 900, the nine gram size servo. I, I tend to use these uh, the most in my planes. I also use the five gram size and I've got some larger ones that I will use when I, when I build my eight foot wingspan plane. So what I'm going to use to approximate that, that is uh, I've cut up some plastic, just some plastic from packaging, into little strips. Here's, I don't know if you'll be able to even see those. Uh, little strips, and they're approximately this, the size of a 9 gram servo wide. So I'll do glue on approximately half of that, and I'll hang half off the edge, and then I'll try and pry it off. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how that works. So I've wrapped packing tape nice and securely around these pieces of foam and I've marked them. So here's the here's what I'm going to be testing. Carpet tape, hot glue, Hobby King foam tape, that's this stuff right there. Uh, JB Weld. What's that stuff? Gorilla glue or polyurethane glue, in my case Elmer's Ultimate. Goop, uh, also known as shoe goo. Uh, in my case, I'm going to be using marine goop. 
uh, CA and this time I'm not going to use the medium I'm going to actually use the thinner CA uh, it's still the uh, foam safe variety but I'm gonna I'm gonna try that anyway see how it works on packing tape to plastic epoxy and that will be the 15 minute Hobby King two-part epoxy and duct brand foam tape which is this stuff right here um, double-sided foam tape so basically I've got three double-sided uh, style tapes a carpet tape that's an indoor outdoor the duck brand and the hobby king and then I've got a whole bunch of glues so I'm not going to torture you by making you uh, watch in real time me glue all this stuff together I'm gonna mix it together and probably accelerate the video and then come back in 24 hours and see how they all performed so I'm just gonna get started I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of talking when I do this because I don't feel like sitting here any longer than I have to while I glue this stuff together Okay, so I have now done all of those glues. As you could see, uh, well, if you could follow it, uh, my regular CA um, had a problem. I, I was it was completely solid, so I had to go back to using the medium CA. I uh, cut my finger a little bit with the scissors early on. Other than that, I think everything went pretty well. Hopefully not too many of my clamps are going to stick to the, the uh, glues. And in 24 hours we'll come back and we'll try and pop pry some plastic off of packing tape. And we'll have some answers. Now as I've said before, these are all single tests. right? There's no hybrid tests here. Um, I have had some success before using something that allows me to mount and position my servo. And then a glue as well, which will keep it... Um, keep it fixed so you could you could do a combination of these things uh, to mount them still have them secure and still allow a little bit of movement while you're mounting it and and to hold it tacked in into place uh, to get the positioning correctly uh, I don't know how uh, what kind of advantages there are to that um, mainly the reason that I've used the double-sided carpet tape before is uh, when I'm building a plane for the first time a design for the first time. I'm not sure if it's going to fly. I'm not sure if it's going to flop. I don't want to waste uh, a couple servos and uh, an ESC and some other things that I'm attaching to it. Um, anyway, I'll see you in 24 hours. Uh, yeah, see you in the morning. I'll have a coffee and we'll uh, we'll take this stuff apart. As you can see, we've got all our samples here. It's been 24 hours. I've had my morning coffee. So it's time to test how all of these glues stuck to packing tape. Before I test them, I just want to mention uh, when you're attaching your servo to packing tape, make sure you take the little sticker off the side that you're going to attach it to and just make sure that side is, is nice and clean. Uh, you're going to get it. Uh, it'll stick better that way. If you don't, what's going to happen is the after you stick it, the sticker will come up apart from the servo and that's how you're going to lose your servo. It's going to have nothing to do with gluing plastic to packing tape. Okay, let's, uh, let's quickly remove all of these clamps and then we can run our test. We've got 
got nine different types of glue here. They've all been given 24 hours to dry. Uh, each of these glues has a different drying time. Um, but I figured 24 hours should be enough for a fair test. Okay, well let's start, uh, I'm going to start with JB Weld. So there we go. It's, uh, it's black underneath that. I don't think that's going to matter to a lot of people, but if it does matter to you, then, then this uh, might, be thing, might be something to consider. Um, it's a little bit tacky still after 24 hours. So let's see how it sticks. I'm just going to pry up this way. And that came off really easily. Really easily. So I'm going to put uh, JB Weld in the no pile as far as, uh, as far as what to use for this purpose. Really came off easily. Okay, so I'm going to move on. Um, goop. So this was uh, marine goop. Maybe ah, I'll, uh, I'll show the winners after. So marine goop, same test. Definitely harder to take off than the JB Weld. It's actually pulling up on the packing tape, you can see. Yes, it would come off eventually, but that, that was quite hard. I'm going to put that in the yes pile. I'm not sure it's going to be our best one. Gorilla Glue. That's that's a no. That's like uh, the JB Weld. Um, so this is the Elmer's Ultimate Polyurethane Glue. If you're gluing plastic to packing tape, it just doesn't cut it. CA. Plastic to packing tape. And again, we have a solid no. At least the medium CA that I'm using. Carpet tape. The two-sided carpet tape. Look at that. That is more solid than the that is a good seal. Like I'm really really ripping on that to get it off. And uh, ultimately it's pulling the packing tape away. I'm just gonna adjust this uh, this one camera just a touch here. Oh no, what I do? All right, give me one second while I restart this beastie. That'll teach me to adjust a camera midstream. Anyway, here we go. Uh, so carpet tape's definitely in the S pile along with the goop. I would say it's even better than the goop. So I'm gonna organize them according to how well I think they did. So carpet tape one, goop two. And uh, maybe I'll move it down just a little bit so you can see it on that camera. Carpet tape. One goop two. Okay, let's try the epoxy. Open some big. Really? Really? So the epoxy. Pointless. Plastic on packing tape. At least this kind of plastic on this packing tape. The epoxy did not work very well, and that's a huge surprise to me. Uh, Hobby King foam tape. Well, I mean, it was better than the epoxy, the Gorilla Glue, the CA, and the JB Weld, but I wouldn't. See, the 24-hour time really means nothing to this. That's about what you're going to get no matter what. So uh, I don't think I would hold a servo on with that. Maybe, maybe some other components um, that, if they did come loose, aren't quite as critical. Okay, so the duct ran foam tape. Wow. This is, uh, again, you know, sometimes things just surprise me. I expected this to be complete garbage, but it's holding pretty well. You see it's pulling the, the packing tape away. And, uh, Really, I had to try quite hard. That's, that's right up there. That and the carpet tape are pretty much almost equal. And the goop, just over here. So all we've got left here is hot glue. And uh, I'm hoping for big things because all of the glues that I thought were going to be great haven't been. 
and the hot glue came right off. Right off. That's a no. Well, I'm going to have to re-examine. Considering, I mean, all of my all of my servers are being held on by the double-sided carpet tape. I guess that's a good thing, since it uh, it's tied for, for winning. Um, but I need to re-examine, because I've got some other one. I've got hot glue and Gorilla Glue also holding those servos on, and I think maybe as a secondary, I should be using Goop to hold these on. So I think this carpet tape and duct tape is, is the primary on the bottom of the servo, holding it to the surface, and a little dab of Goop around the outside that might not be such a such a bad combination to uh, to get it done. So there you go. I said that I would show these. So so here are your winners. Marine Goop taking third place. Duct brand double sided tape. Taking tied for first place, but uh, we'll call it second for now. And Scotch brand indoor outdoor double sided carpet tape. Taking first place. There you go. Plastic to packing tape, uh, primarily servos or receivers if you want to attach those. Uh, these are your three solutions that I've come up with, and I'm really quite surprised at these other six. These other six did not do very well. The ones that did not do very well, JB Weld, Gorilla Glue, CA, Epoxy, Bobby King Foam Tape, and Hot Glue. Shocking. Well, shocking to me. Probably not shocking to other people who've tried similar tests. Again, I encourage you to uh, do these tests yourself. Um, figure out what glue is going to work for you, uh, because these things are important to stay attached. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed this, or if you learned something, like and subscribe. See you later.